The overall goal of the following video is to introduce the transient electrothermal technique. This technique is an effective way to accurately measure the thermal diffusivity of solid materials. To begin the measurement, the sample is suspended between two copper electrodes. Silver paste is applied to the sample electrode contact area to reduce the thermal and electrical contact resistances to a negligible level. The whole sample is then housed in a vacuum chamber to reduce the heat transfer to the air. During the measurement, a step current is fed through the sample to induce joule heating. The induced voltage time profile will be recorded by the oscilloscope. A higher thermal diffusivity of the sample will lead to a faster temperature evolution, meaning a shorter time to reach the steady state. Therefore, this transient voltage temperature change can be used to determine the thermal diffusivity. Theoretical fitting of the normalized experimental temperature rise is conducted by using different trial values of the thermal diffusivity of the sample. The value giving the best fit of the experimental data is taken as the thermal property of the samples. Please check the manuscript for the detailed theoretical background. The TD techniques uh, has several advantages over the techniques people have used in the past. First, uh, it broadens the material scope we can measure. Now we can measure both conductive and non-conductive materials. Uh, second, it significantly improves the measurement accuracy and stability. Our graduate student, Juan Lin, will show the procedure. In this work, human head hair samples collected from a 30-year-old healthy female are used to show how to set up the experiment and process the experimental data. First, suspend the sample between two copper electrodes. Silver paste is then applied at the sample electrode contact area to reduce the thermal and electrical contact resistances to